This is the Olympic Peninsula, located in the far upper left corner of the contiguous United States. And we are here on a multi-day overland adventure with the simple goal of exploring this unique and lush temperate rainforest. The ecosystem here is so unique that the nearby Olympic National Park was designated as a World Heritage Site back in 1981. Normally, the summers in this area are cool. However, we have found ourselves in the midst of a record-breaking Pacific Northwest heat wave with temperatures soaring into the upper 90s. And after a brutal morning spent battling an overgrown trail filled with downed trees, the heat was starting to get to us. And so we shifted our focus and are now on the hunt for a suitable camp spot next to one of the many glacial rivers that flow here where we hope to set up camp and stay cool in the midst of this oppressive heat. We're back on this main road now. Wayanuchi Lake is maybe about 20 miles away, so we're gonna go check that out, see if we can find maybe a dispersed campsite or primitive campground. So we're gonna continue on and enjoy the rest of our day. Alright, so an update, we made it to our campsite. Uh, this is not our campsite, we're just a little bit further that way. But what we did find is this. We found a pool in a river and that was really the goal. So we found a little spot and we're going to, uh, we're going to jump in and we're going to enjoy cooling off because it's like 93 degrees right now. So I'm jumping in. Well this is how to cool off on a 90 some degree day. This water is very cold. The trick is, once your body goes numb, it's quite pleasant. Just look, look sexy. Don't look like you're freezing. <laughs> this is how you get views on YouTube. This is gonna be our thumbnail. One million views. Here we come. All right, so the sun has finally dipped below this hill behind us and that has helped cool things off quite a bit. So now that it's cooled down a little bit, Christine is starting dinner. You can probably see behind me, she is gonna be making something super delicious today. So uh, I'm really excited about this one. Well, it smells delicious, so tell me, chef, what are we having for dinner tonight? Well, we're having apple with cinnamon, chicken, and bacon. If only there was smell-o-vision on YouTube. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Cooled off from our plunge in the river and with bellies full, we spent the remainder of the evening swapping stories from our morning's misadventure before turning in for the night. Well, good morning. We ended up camping back there and very, very early this morning, our neighbors at another camp spot ended up leaving. 
Jeff scoped out the spot that they left from and it ended up being awesome. So we ended up moving our tent, all of our stuff from back there to here. And this is what we get to camp next to. Well, it's getting hotter and so I think it's time to see if we can find a hole or something to uh, take a dip in in this river which is very cold this is gonna be very nice let's we'll see what we can find it's a bit slippery <laughs> see if we can do this without taking a dive looks like we may have found a little pool here looks quite inviting Water's not flowing too much. It's a little slower area. Let's jump in. This spot couldn't have been more perfect. Our own private swimming pool on a quiet stretch of the river, just a short walk from camp. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Christine, what do you think? It's cold. <laughs> cold. It's nice though, right? Yes, it is nice. But like initially. It burns. Woo! Brisk! As we waited for the heat of the day to pass, everyone did their best to stay cool. And our decision to claim this riverbed campsite and stay here for the day seemed better with each passing hour under the sun's searing rays. Well, the sun has finally dipped behind the trees, which means our campsite is shaded. And that is a very welcome thing. Man, I'm so glad that we stayed here. It was not our plan. We were gonna get back on the road and we were gonna do some more driving and we were gonna find another campsite. But of course, we're in the midst of this Washington heat wave and in Washington, a heat wave means like 90 degrees and everyone panics. So really lucky that we found this site and it worked out this morning that we could come down here. Corey just got a fire going. You can probably see the smoke behind me. And I think it's cooled down enough that that's gonna be a, a nice thing tonight. So we're just gonna enjoy the rest of our evening and enjoy being out here on the peninsula for one last night before we call it a trip and head back home tomorrow. What's for dinner? Well, we're making, right now I'm making some cauliflower rice. And because it's the last day of the trip, I am just throwing in whatever we have in the fridge. So I threw some onions in there. I threw some garlic in there. We've got some cilantro and some lime juice. So I'm going for a little bit of a cilantro lime rice chipotle vibe with cauliflower rice and onions and garlic too. So I don't know what this is, but it's an experiment. And then we're gonna throw in some curry. We've got chicken curry. So it's gonna be chicken curry with rice and just kind of having some fun, using up all the stuff we have in the fridge before we head home tomorrow. What about you? Are you ready for dinner?
Good morning. Man, the Olympic Peninsula is an incredible place. Having spent another three nights out here, and the more time we spend out here, the more time we realize that this is a really unique place that we need to spend more time exploring. And on this trip, it was just so nice to get to spend an entire day at camp. This is the first time we've spent an entire day at a campsite and not been on the move in over a year. And I think that's also a reminder to slow down sometimes. You know, we're always pushing, we're always in the truck, we're always trying to find new roads and new routes and new campsites, and that's great. But sometimes when you find that great campsite, it just makes sense to stop, enjoy the sounds of nature, enjoy the flowing water. It was just a super relaxing and recharging weekend, which was great because the beginning of this trip started off a little bit rocky to say the least, and it was a little bit stressful getting here. So when we found this campsite and moved down here, I really think that was the right choice. It was so nice to be able to cool off in the river and just soak in these views. So we're gonna get out of here pretty early this morning and uh, head back into the city, but we'll be back out on another adventure very soon. So we're already excited for that. Thanks for watching.